Hey friends, happy Sunday and welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I am Taylor, the stay-at-home wife and mom, and I share these What's for Dinner videos every Sunday to hopefully motivate you to cook more for your family and to get some new meal ideas. I try a couple new meals every week um, and then I mix that in with our like usual family favorites. So I kind of like balance it out with trying new recipes and family favorites to like keep me interested in cooking and also keep y'all interested in these videos. As always, any recipes that I mention will be linked in the description box. Now let's go ahead and get into this week's What's for Dinner. So Friday night was the day after Thanksgiving and we had a ton of leftovers. So we ate on that for a few days. This was Elijah's plate. He's got a deviled egg, some ham, cranberry sauce, turkey, carrots, stuffing, broccoli, casserole, and mac and cheese. Then we've got Lily's, pretty much the same. No broccoli, casserole, and no deviled egg. And then we've got mine and I've got a little bit of everything that was left. Um, as you can see here, we had quite a bit. I ended up freezing like most of the ham and then you'll see me use some of the turkey in the next two meals. Saturday night I did some Brunswick stew. This is something that I love to make whenever I have leftover turkey but if you don't have leftover turkey you could also use chicken in this and then I also use leftover pulled pork which I had from last week. So I'm starting off by melting four tablespoons of butter. And then once that's melted, I'm gonna add in one medium onion that I diced and about a tablespoon of minced garlic. And then I just let that cook for about five minutes, stirring often so you don't burn anything. This recipe I've actually shared before, it has its own separate video, but I did do things a little bit different this time. But if you ever wanna go back to one of my recipes, you can always just search my name, Taylor Elmore, and then what the recipe is, so like Brunswick stew, and any videos where I mentioned that should pop up. So after five minutes, I'm gonna add in my liquid. So I'm doing three cups of water and then three teaspoons of the Nord chicken bouillon, or you could just do three cups of chicken broth. And then I'm adding in one can of diced tomatoes, one eight ounce can of tomato sauce, and one cup of barbecue sauce. And then I'm just gonna bring that to a simmer and let it simmer over like a medium heat for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes of simmering, I added in the rest of my ingredients. So I did change a little bit here. Usually I use frozen lima beans and frozen corn, but this time I did a can of mixed vegetables that I drained, and then I still did my one cup of frozen corn. Um, that is a little bit different than usual, but we really did like it with the can of mixed vegetables because it had a little bit more variety of vegetables in it. And then I added in about half a teaspoon of hot sauce, salt and pepper to taste, uh, a quarter teaspoon of some dried thyme, and then about one and a half cups of cooked chicken or turkey, which I did turkey, and one and a half cups of some barbecue pulled pork, which I had left over from last week. And usually I have that kind of stuff in the freezer, so that makes this easy to make, and it's a great thing to make with leftovers. So I added that stuff in, and then I let that simmer for another 15 minutes, and then it was ready to eat. I always like to serve this with a roll or some kind of bread on the side. We had some of these Sister Schubert's rolls left over from Thanksgiving, so that is what we had with it. Sunday night was our last night of eating leftovers. I just kind of threw something together with the last of the turkey and the last of the gravy. So I had some egg noodles and I boiled some salted water to cook those up. And then in this pot, I'm going to warm up the leftover turkey. That's the last of it. And then I'm also going to make some more gravy because we only had a little bit left over. So I'm going to mix together some chicken gravy and turkey gravy, make that in that smaller pot. So here I am just warming up the turkey and I just wanted to get it warmed up first. Uh, there was a little bit of skin in there so get that a little bit crispy and then I added in the last of the leftover gravy and let that get warmed up and while all that was like getting warmed up I was working on the noodles and then I was also working on making 
the like new two packets of gravy in the back and then once that gravy was done I just poured it into this pot with the turkey and gravy that was left over and mixed it all together and then once my noodles were done we were ready to eat we served the turkey and gravy on top of the egg noodles for some of us Andy and Elijah ate it on top of the noodles, but me and Lily actually decided that we wanted to eat the last of the leftover mashed potatoes. So we had our turkey and gravy on top of the mashed potatoes. And then we also had the last of the leftover carrots with it as well. So we were just cleaning everything out of the fridge. And this was delicious. Um, also one of my favorite ways to use up leftover turkey. It's so simple, but it's always so good. Monday night we did a meatball subs. This is definitely one of my family's favorite like quick and easy crock pot meals. So all you have to do is add some frozen meatballs to the crock pot. I typically like to air fry them for about 10 to 15 minutes first. So I did that and then I put them in my crock pot and then I just add in one jar of sauce. If you make more meatballs than me then you'd probably want to use two jars. You just want to like be able to cover the meatballs with the amount of sauce that you use. So I added in one jar of sauce and then I always also rinse that jar with water and dump that in and then I toss them, make sure all the meatballs are coated with sauce, put a lid on it, let it cook on low for about four hours. It doesn't take long at all for this. And then we come home from martial arts and we've got meatballs done and ready to assemble some meatball subs. So I just use these little deli rolls from Aldi, put some meatballs on there, top with some mozzarella cheese, and then stick it in the air fryer for about five minutes. So the bread gets toasty and the cheese melts. So Andy and I actually weren't ready to eat at this time because we had had a late lunch. So this was just for the kids and then me and Andy ate the same thing later. But we all just had some fresh veggies on the side. Tuesday night we did some sheet pan salmon and broccoli. So for the broccoli, I've got a sheet pan here and I'm lining it with some parchment paper. And then I just get my broccoli on there. And then I'm coating it with some olive oil and seasoning it with some Badia Complete and some salt and pepper. And then I just toss that around, make sure everything is coated really well. And then this went in the oven on 425 for 25 minutes. Then for my salmon, again, I've got it on a sheet pan lined with some parchment paper. And this is boneless, skinless salmon that I get at Sam's Club that we really like. I am just brushing that with some of the Chef Chamois garlic butter. And then I'm going to sprinkle it with some of this Zatarain's blackened seasoning. Super simple, but it turned out so good. And then this went in the oven on 425 for about 15 minutes. To go with this, I just made some garlic parmesan orzo. So this is all you need for that. Some parmesan cheese, some chef chamois garlic butter. You don't even have to have that. You could just use regular butter. Some orzo, or you could just use any kind of small pasta. Some garlic powder, salt, pepper, and parsley. So I cooked my orzo according to the package directions, and then I drained it and added it back to the pot. And then I add in a couple tablespoons of that butter, some garlic powder, salt, pepper, the parsley, and some parmesan cheese, and just stir that around until everything is melted.
in. Here's what that looked like all plated up when it was done. As I said, that salmon was super simple, just the butter and the blackened seasoning, but it was really good. Typically, I make like a lemon pepper salmon, but this was a nice change. I really, really liked it. Wednesday night we had tacos and homemade refried beans. I made these refried beans in the crock pot. I have made this recipe before and it's super easy and they turn out delicious. So in my crock pot I have three cups of dried pinto beans that I rinsed and kind of picked out any like broken beans or rocks. And then I, to that I am adding seven cups of water, two tablespoons of the Knorr chicken bouillon, and then about two teaspoons of garlic powder, two and a half teaspoons of cumin, and then you also add salt and pepper, but I typically hold off and add that at the very end if I need it. I am using the Nord Chicken Bouillon, which can be salty, so I just wait till the end to add salt and pepper. And then I also add in one medium white onion. I don't cut it very small because I'm going to be taking the immersion blender to this anyway, so I just cut it into little chunks. And then I let this cook on high for nine hours and then you're going to go in with an immersion blender and just blend it all up and typically in like traditional refried beans they'll use like lard or bacon grease or something in them um, but I didn't have any bacon grease so I just added in a couple tablespoons of butter because that's where the recipe said you could use so I just did that and then to serve this we had tacos with it just simple ground beef tacos hard shells lettuce tomato sour cream taco sauce uh, some shredded cheese and we topped our beans with some shredded cheese too. And then these refried beans make a lot, so I end up putting them in some Ziploc bags and freezing them flat in the freezer. And then we've got refried beans for later. Thursday night we had chicken taco soup. I know that there are recipes out there for this, but this is just one of those like throw together meals with what you have on hand. So I threw two chicken busts in the crock pot and then I added a can of Rotel diced tomatoes and then a can of Aldi Mexican corn. And then I did a can of kidney beans and a can of black beans that I drained and rinsed. Typically I would do pinto instead of kidney, but you know, this is what I had on hand. And then I did about enough taco seasoning to equal one taco seasoning package and three cups of water and three teaspoons of the Knorr uh, chicken bouillon. And then I typically put salsa in this as well, but I forgot. So about an hour later, I added in about a cup of salsa because um, I remember to that point that I wanted salsa in this. So I added that in, mix everything up, and then you just cook this on low for like six to eight hours. It's super simple just throw together what you have. Then once it's done cooking, you can take your chicken out and shred it or just like shred it right in the crock pot. I just took my little meat masher thing and kind of shredded up my chicken as best as I could. And then this was ready to eat. We like to top it with some cheese and little tortilla strips. I know some people do sour cream or salsa, whatnot, but this is such a good meal and super easy to throw together. And that is going to be it for this week's What's for Dinner. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. I hope that you got some good ideas, especially some ways to use up leftovers. That's some of my favorite times to cook is like using up the leftovers. Like what can I create out of this? But if you made it all the way to the end, make sure you leave me a smiley face emoji and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.